going to discuss about how we can get a different dates okay present date yesterday date tomorrow's date day after tomorrow's date after five days after six days and the beginning of the month end of the month how we can get those things we are going to discuss about those kind of things here and it's really really important guys so please do watch till the end of the video and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much yeah let me start so i'll be taking uh yeah okay so if you see here i have i have one date which is a date time uh, type here i have taken that variable here so what i'm going to do here is let me pull as an activity first then uh, we can discuss on it okay so uh, so it is a normal one so what i'm going to do here is uh, let me take something called now okay now dot uh, get if you type uh, something like now dot date okay assign this to date one okay then try to print this using a message box and see how the data is coming okay let's see how the data will be coming date one dot uh, two uh, let me try to print first using a two string then we can see how so today's date is uh, November 8th so I should be getting that uh, so it started running the particular bot now you can see it has taken November 8th as well as the time here we got this time as extra so let me try to remove that time only get that particular date instead of uh, uh, time over there okay so that uh, what I can get is uh, to if you see this one to start to short date string and I uh, have used that to short date string let's see how the output come i have started this uh, bot now you can see we got only the date here previously we got the timestamp along with the date that means that hours minutes and seconds we got now we got only the dates okay so that's how you can get only the date from the uh, present uh, uh, present timings entire timings okay to short date okay let me try using some other options here to short uh, to long date string what it, it will give let's see how it is giving to long dates now you can see we got entire date here Thursday November 8 2018 so uh, that is how it is coming now uh, let's see how we can add few dates to this one okay so I have this date one function now let me add days okay let me add days of something like uh, one day that means that will be tomorrow right so two i added one day tomorrow so that is a one two uh, two short day i'll take two short date string for my dad's take okay today is 8th november so i should be getting 9th november now you can see i got the 9th november as well so that is how i'm going to get first tomorrow's day okay day after tomorrow will be like place 2 I should be getting 10 now you can see 10 like that you can get how many days you want after 10 days after 15 days you can get that and how I can get uh, uh, yesterday okay if I keep 0 here I should be getting today's date okay now you can see I got today's date okay so tomorrow is place today is 0 so yesterday will be minus 1 ok so let me see how we can get that now you can see yesterday we got minus 1 and day before yesterday also we can get ok now 
now you can see all the dates yesterday day before yesterday also we can get that okay now uh, here um, now let's see how we can get the uh, how we can get the beginning of the month okay so the date time let me take this date time actually this guy explained it very clearly in the forum so i am following this guy only okay i think it's some is uploading so many e things there okay so what i am going to do here is here now dot let me pull it in a bigger format before explaining that video i have actually verified that and it's working very nice now dot year comma now now dot year means this year 2018 is a year it is taking now that month so you want beginning of the month right so beginning is always be plus one right so let me use that one here and uh, date one date one dot uh, two short date okay so i should be getting the first of november here okay now you can see we got the first of November here then how we can get the end of the month this is actually a little tricky okay this is a beginning of the month right this is a beginning of the month here is a this year this month now is this 2018 year now this 2000 month this is taking the current month okay then this is taking the first date now what I am going to do here is this will be like beginning of the month I have now i need to get end of the month that means end of the month means if i add plus one to it i'll be getting the beginning of the next month right so the same concept i'll do what i'll do is add if you see here add months we have so i'll be adding one month okay that means i'll be for this month this is 11th right so i'll be going into the 12th month here it is a first day right so 12th month first i have now what i'll do is from there i'll go one day back add days how i can go one day back i'll be using add days of minus one okay to short date it should print me the end of the month because we don't know exactly what uh we don't know exactly how many days in a month will be there right so this is how it will work end of the end of the current month we can get that way so please do try this option at your home and let me know if you have any doubt so what we have verified we have verified the beginning of the month we have verified the end of the month we have verified tomorrow's yesterday's all those things we have verified you know it's tomorrow's days and extra days will be like add days month will be like add months if you want to add years next year it will be like add years so uh, my suggestion would be like just type here okay go here type date one dot then you try exploring all these options add hours you have add minutes all those you have so for the um, for the for the video purpose i have taken few examples because i can't put everything in a video it will be too big so i i hope you guys try this at your home and please let me know if you have any doubts in a comment section and also please do subscribe my for my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching